web developer, whether it be for side projects or if this is your full-time job, I have found the absolute perfect web app for you. This app is called Usability Hub and you can reach it at usabilityhub.com. According to our website, the Usability Hub provides a set of online usability tools to help you test the effectiveness of your designs and concepts. So what this means is you can take some screenshots of a website or a web app that you've developed, upload them onto this site, and then you will get feedback immediately from real end users about your designs. There are three tests currently available on the site. The first test is called NavFlow. And this helps improve your conversion rates by analyzing how people navigate through your site. The second test is called the five second test. So it'll show a screenshot of your website for five seconds and then you can ask users five different questions of your deciding to them. And the third test is called the click test. So it will show a screenshot and it will simply ask users to click and then you will get to see a click map of where people most often click on your site. As a demonstration, I have created a simple five second test. So I took a screenshot of tripbot.com and then asked users five different questions about it. So I asked them, what is the purpose of this site? What do you like most about the design? What do you like least about the design? Will you click sign in or play and what would entice you to sign up. Within an hour, I had five different sets of data from five different end users who were giving me feedback about my site. And then I can take all of that feedback and iterate on my design to make my website even better. Now there's this really cool part about the Usability Hub. Every user has a certain amount of karma points. So you can see down here, I have 25 points. For each test that I go on and complete for somebody else, I gain one karma point. And then for each test that I upload and I ask end users to come and evaluate for me, I, I give up and karma points. And so there's this really great ebb and flow system between you completing tests for other people to gain karma and then you uploading your tests and getting rid of some of that karma. I found that this system worked really well. There was no point where I didn't have tests that I could complete or where I didn't have any common points so I couldn't upload my own tests. So here's an example of a way for you to gain karma. So you click on do a random test and a test will just load up. So this one is a click test. To be able to complete this test, all I have to do is click on it somewhere where I would click on this site if it were a real life site. For me, I see this giant red button over here that says free, I'm going to click on that. So you click and you hit done and I've done this test and I've gained one karma point and then the user who submitted this test now has one data point of feedback from me. Let's break down the hits and misses for the usability hub. Hit number one, there are three different tests that you can use and I bet that they're currently working on more because the more tests you have, the more different points of feedback that you can get from users. But right now, I'm happy with the variety of those three tests. Pro number two, I really like the fact that as a web developer, I can come on this site and I can help out other web developers. It's like giving back to the community, it's great. People are submitting screenshots of sites to the Usability Hub that haven't been uploaded yet on the internet. So you get a little sneak peek of sites that are to come if you're really interested in that sort of thing. As for misses, there are none right now. The site is free, I don't have to put any money in if I don't want to, and I get immediate feedback about my websites and my web apps that I'm developing. And so as a web developer, I will definitely be using this for all of the sites that I start releasing online, and I can get feedback from end users who I don't know, free. Overall, I am going to give Usability Hub 4.5 usability tests out of 5.